Hi guys, in this video, we will try and revise the important facts in history and art and culture for prelims 2024. Remember, this is just revision of facts. We will not get into details. This is not teaching art and culture. This is not teaching art and culture class. Now, how to use this video? As we go through each fact, what you do is, when I say a fact, try to pause the video and try to guess what it is, uh, what is the meaning of that and then get the answer. And the next thing, if possible, take short notes, uh, have a notebook with you, take notes so that you can revise that note multiple times after uh, finishing this video. If you are not able to take notes, download the PDF from the link given below in the comment and in the description and revise it multiple times so that the time you spend on this video will be really useful. And another important point is, we have tried to reduce the number of facts as much as possible. That is, we have tried and recognized only those facts which are not much familiar, which can be easily forgotten. The area in which mostly UPSC asks questions. We have tried to identify that, guess that and we have taken the points because I don't want to waste time in this last minute of the exam. This is crucial revision time. So I have, I will try to reduce the size of the video as much as possible. So we have not taken all the facts, which will go to thousands of facts. We have just taken those facts, which are not easy to remember. Rest of the facts, familiar ones, I hope you would already know. And apart from that, if we know these facts, when we get an exam, we will get them. If other facts come, we can use these facts to eliminate the uh, options and get the uh, answer. So now we will get into the facts. First one, Wangala dance. This is a fest, uh, festival in Meghalaya. It is called as festival of 100 drums. Lipan art. It is a traditional mural craft in Gujarat region of Kutch. Next one, Charana school of Vedic study. Sangrahitri, they were treasurers in the Vedic period. Palagala, they were messengers in the same Vedic period. Akshvapa, they were accountants in the Vedic period. And one more important declaration, we will not group things together like all the Vedic things together, all the Mauryans together, Marathas, no, not like that. I have tried to shuffle things so that when we jump here and there, it will be easier for you to fix it and remember it for you. So, we have shuffled things which makes remembering easier. Next, Shata. They were keeper of king's household during the Vedic period. Next one, Maula. They were hereditary troops during the Mauryan period. Normally, when we see words like Maula, we will normally guess it to be in the medieval region sultanate period or uh, Mughals like that, but it is not. See, it's easy here. Maula, Maurya, it's easy. Next one, Amil, they were revenue officers in the medieval India, which means sultanate period. Charai were tax on cattle during the medieval period. Dastur Ul Amal, it was the rule book during the medieval period. Next is, Bagis were paid horsemen in the Marathas period. Viprulu, they were Brahmins who followed their traditional profession during the Mauryan period. See, we are shuffling here Mauryan, then medieval, then Marathas. We are shuffling it so that you don't forget things. When uh, each time we finish five points or something, try to pause, try to revise, recall in your brain and then go to the next one. Or just finish the video, download the file or take notes and then revise it again and again. At least you have to revise like four or five times if we have to remember this in the exam. Next. Maha Nayakacharya. They were officers in contact between the village and the central administration during the Mauryan period. Next one, Upa Rakshita. They were officers for building caves during the Mauryan period. Now see, Reka Pida, Pidadul, Kakra. These were the important features in Odisha architecture. Manganiyar communities in Rajasthan and they are known for their folk music. This Manganyar communities are people in Rajasthan. Kothwal, 
they were head of civil administration during the delhi sultanate and mufti were expounder of law during the delhi sultanate words like mufti mufti all these words are related to court law these things generally they will be the same everywhere 20 muhtasib they were law and order officers in the delhi sultanate mukti or wali they were provincial governors or holders of ikta ikta we know it was the uh, like a land revenue system during the medieval period it was like a feudal system next kataka or skandavaras they were military camps during the satavahana period upasika they were followers of buddhism but they were not monks normal followers who were not monks in buddhism were called as upasika next parivrajaka were renunciants or wanderers in buddhism those people who don't have house or anything they keep wandering see it's easy to remember here we have a similar word in hindi par same par desi par desi means the same see par is per desi means rajyam rajika all are same so par desi par rajika both are same i i hope you will never forget this here after next one danya kataka or amaravati or dharani kota all these words belong to buddhist centers in andhra pradesh buddhist centers in andhra pradesh are called with, uh, by these different names danya kataka amaravati dharani kota anekantavada it is a Jain philosophy. These things are important, such uh, like giving a word and asking whether it is uh, a Jain philosophy or Buddhist philosophy. It is very common in UPSC. Next, Buddha Charita was written by Ashwagosha. This is also re easy to remember. If you see the life of Buddha in many places, it has been connected with horse. In many places it will be connected with horse. So, when you see Buddha Charita, remember Ashwa means horse. Gosha, Buddha, Buddha, Ashwa, Chari, uh, Charita, Gosha. Actually, it is Buddha Charita. It's a spelling mistake. Buddha Charita. Next one, Bhav Bhuti. We know uh, he was a writer. He has written books like Mahavira Charitra in the 18th century, Malali Madan, and Uttarama Charita. Mahavira Charita, Uttarama Charita, Malahi Madan. All these books were written by Baba Bhuti. It uh, Baba Bhuti was already asked in UPSC earlier. Next, Karshapana, it was a Chola coin. The word Pana, Pana is uh, the word which uh, means money. In Tamil, Pana, Panam, it means money. That, uh, that is why this word Karshapana is a Chola coin. Next one, Nastalik, it is a Persian script. Pashupata is a Saivite sect. Everyone will know this. It's an easy uh, fact actually. Next one. Unmesha. It is a international literature festival. Utkarsh. It is a folk and tribal festival. Both these festivals are inaugurated and done by Sankit Natak Academy of India. Unmesha and Utkarsh. The word Vasudeva Kunbagam. This is taken. We know it is taken from the Maha Upanishad. For the very first time, it was written in a book called Hitopadesha and it was written by Narayan Pandit. So, two things you have to remember about Vasudeva Kudumbakam. One is Maha Upanishad, another one is Hitopadesha. Next is Varahas. They were gold coins in the Vijayanagara Empire. So, just now we saw uh, Karshapana, they were Chola coins. This one is Varahas, where gold coins in Vijayanagara Empire. Now we will see certain facts about Mughal administration. In the provincial level, Sipasalar, they were head executive. Sadir, they were in charge of judicial departments. This word uh, Sadir also will be again uh, repeating in many places and it will always be related to judiciary. In the district level, Fausdar were administrative head and Amal or Amal Guzar were revenue collecting officers. Amal or Amal Guzar. Already we saw a similar word uh, Amal which was also related to revenue. So try to remember always Amal 
will be always related to revenue and that is why if any one of you know tamil here the enforcement directorate in tamil will be called as amal akathurai amal which always means or it's related to revenue that is why they call it as amal akathurai they will call it as amal akathurai okay so it is easy to remember amal it's always related to uh, things about revenue and next one in the pargana level sheikdar were administrative head in the district level fausdar were administrative head in the provincial level sipsalar were uh, administrative head sipsalar fausdar sheikdar and the words amin or konango they were revenue collecting departments amin or konango again you can see here the word is very similar already we saw amil here we saw c amin amin amil all these words are somewhere related to revenue next guddha purushas they were espionage departments in the mauryan empire like guddha purushas we can take like examples of ajit doval these people so they, they are like uh, in the mauryan period they were called as guddha purushas and under this guddha purusha they were of two types samsthan they were stationary uh, spies and sanchari were wandering spies they would be ar moving around the country and gathering information like how we have ib now and uh, one more example we can say if you have watched this ponniyan selvan movie in that we will have a character called uh, nambi under nambi who will be roaming around everywhere he will be a spy and that character is we can call him as sanchari okay next in the gupta empire we'll see some facts aprabata means forest land vastu means habitable land kulika they were chief architects bata police tax this everyone will know easily when people work somewhere they say every day they get money uh, that is called as bata but it was actually in the gupta period it was uh, used only for uh, uh, a police for police a tax was paid for the police department to function and that was called as bata and next is chart they were security tax nagarjuna was the founder of something called as madhyamika it is a hinayana philosophy very important madhyamika this uh, this word something related to madhya all these will be mostly related to mahayana but he see here nagarjuna was the founder of a philosophy called madhyamika and it is of hinayana philosophy next is gusadi it is a tribal dance of telangana and this gusadi is very easy to remember because we already know something called ugadi ugadi is a telugu new year it is also celebrated in places like telangana andhra pradesh so ugadi is a uh, new year festival gusadi is a tribal dance and both are in telangana it's easy now next harul it is a tribal dance of himachal pradesh sautrantika and samitya they are different sects in buddhism they are types in buddhism sautrantika samitya some water conservation methods these are in the news as well kul is in jammu kashmir johad is in rajasthan zabo also called as ruza system it is in nagaland these are actually important such questions have been asked in upsc kul jammu kashmir johad rajasthan zabo nagaland so i remember this johad as joda we know joda akbar very easily and she was also from rajasthan so try to use joda and johad both look very similar see the spelling is also very much similar see if you uh, uh, i mean uh, turn this spelling it will come back to joda it's something like that okay so try to remember it next one in the delhi sultanate some facts diwan e risalat they were department of appeal i remember this easily using like i read this risalat as re salat so what is appeal when we uh, go to a court we get a verdict we don't like it we will re appeal so re salat re appeal like that i remember it if it works you can also use it diwan e bandagar department of slaves diwan e kaza e mamalik department of justice this word kazi kaza all these were will be related to court justice these things 
Next is Divan E. Ishtiak, his department of pension. See, pen, what is pension? Every month we will get money, but we will not work. We will be sitting in home, we will get money. Another one is salary. We work every month, we work and we get money, that is salary. So, working and getting salary, getting salary is a happy thing, but we have to work. That is difficult. You can say in uh, Hindi, Tamil, it is called custom. But pension, we don't work, but we get money. It's very happy. So, it is ishtam. We like it. We are very much fond of it. We are ishtam about it because we like it because we don't work, but we get money. Which is better? Work and get money and don't work and get money. So, pension is very much ishtam. So, you can connect it like ishtak is pension. This is how I remember it. Next, Divan E. Mushtakir or Mustakraj, whatever, both spellings are used in different works. They are department of arrears. Divan E. Kairat, this is charity. This also I have a clue where I remember with. See, whenever we see uh, charity, when you go to Google and search charity images, you can see what you can see is two hands connected together, uh, hands giving somewhere. So, uh, charity is always related to like hand, uh, giving hand like this. Kai means hand in South Indian languages. Okay. Kai and charity. It's easy to remember. Divan e Kairat is charity. Divan e Kohi is agriculture. And this I never forget because I read Divan e Kohi as Divan e Koli. Koli is hen. And hen is part of animal husbandry, part of always part of agriculture. So, uh, whoever does agriculture, they will definitely have hen in their home. So, the Divan e Koli is agriculture. Next, Asiatic Society of Bengal was founded in 1784 and it was founded by William Jones. Abhinyana Shakuntalam was translated to English by again William Jones. And important fact, Guptas issued the largest number of gold coins. The ones to first time bring gold coins in India where we know they were Kushanas. But large number of gold coins by Guptas. Next, we know there are four Vedas and uh, related to Vedas, we have things like Upa Vedas, Veda Angas, uh, Veda Andas like that. So, for the four Vedas, we have six Veda Angas, which are called as Anga means limbs, hands and legs like. We have six uh, limbs or six Angas for the Vedas. So, we will see what they are. One is Chanda means matrix, Vyakarna grammar, Shiksha pronunciation, Kalpa ritual, Nirupta etymology, Jyotisha astronomy, this is the most, this is the easiest one to remember. Uh, Jyotisha, we call it as astrology or astronomy, whatever. Next, Mushika Vamsa was a book written by Atula in the 11th century. Some sites, Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Neolithic sites. Sohan Valley is in Rajasthan. Hunski is in Karnataka. See, this one is easy. Uh, we already know Hampi is in Karnataka. Now, Hunski is in Karnataka. That's it. And Bimbetka, we know in Madhya Pradesh. All these are Paleolithic. Some Mesolithic sites, Brahmagiri in Odisha, Bimbetka and Adam Karsh in Madhya Pradesh, Bagor in Rajasthan. Some Neolithic sites, Chiran in Bihar, Burzahom in uh, Jammu Kashmir, Mehergar, everyone know it is in Balochistan, Pakistan region, Piklihal, Takala, are found in Karnataka. Piklika, Piklihal, Takkala and Kota, all these are found in Karnataka. We already saw Vedas and Vedangas. Now, Vedas and the Upavedas. Upaveda of Rig Veda is Ayurveda. Upaveda of Yajur Veda is Danur Veda. For Sama Veda, it is Gandharva Veda. And for Atharva Veda, it is Shilpa Veda. Try to remember this. And what are Brahmanas? They were meanings of Vedic hymns. Because Vedas, we know they are not direct information. They are actually giving hidden information. They will not give full in, uh, direct information. That is why Vedas in Tamil, they will be called as Marai. Marai means which is hidden. 
in tamil they call marangirukirathu marai so vedas give hidden information so it is not easy to understand the veda so brahmanas were written to give meanings of the vedic hymns they are just like uh, summaries or uh, translation books and 19th tirthankara of jains was mallinanda a women important she was a mallinanda was a women and we know there are two sects in jainism one is swetambara and digambara swetambara they wear white color uh, dress digambara they do not wear any dress we know this swetambara were followers of parshavnath and digambara were the followers of mahavira and sutani pata was the earliest buddhist text mudra rakshasa was written by vishaka tatta mudra rakshasa is the story about chandragupta maurya defeating the nanda dynasty or the magadha empire and ascending the throne this is the story of mudra rakshasa it was written by vishaka tatta and rajukas they were administrators of justice in ashoka period next adhyakshas they were superintendent to regulate economic activities during the maurya period and kushanas they were called with other names such as yuchin and tocharians this question this fact is important such facts are very famous they are asked in upsc kushanas were called as yuchins or tocharians and kushanas they for the first time introduced the shatrap system shatrap system is simply the feudal system you will have a king under the king you will have feudal lords and each feudal lord will be governing a region and that region they will have an army with them they will collect tax in that region to maintain that army and rest of the money every year they will go and pay tribute the same thing was used in the ikladar system in the mansabdari system all these are just names are different but the concept is same the polygar system all are the same okay for the, the for the first time such system was introduced by the kushanas next is saundarananda it was a book written by ashwagosha it is called as the sanskrit kavya saundarananda is called as sanskrit kavya and muski and sannati these two inscriptions they talk about ashoka muski and sannati and some facts about mauryas samartha were revenue head sannidatta were accounts head mrichikatika or it was called as the little clay was written by shudraka priyadarshika ratnavalli and nagananda these were the books written by harshavardhana the 6th century ruler he is also called as the last hindu ruler and all okay priyadarshika ratnavalli nagananda these questions are repeating in various exams try to memorize them next is kadamba kingdom it was founded by mayura sharman next borobudur it is in indonesia it is a site it is the largest buddhist temple in the world and it was built in the 18th century borobudur largest buddhist temple jain kalpa sutra it was written by badra bahu mahavira he belonged to the nyatrika tribe he belonged to the nyatrika tribe divya vadana it is a buddhist text about ashoka and his dhamma yatras wherever he roamed around the country it is given in divya vadana next devi chandragupta it was written by vishakadatta or vishakadeva he is called with the different names vishakadatta or vishakadeva we already know vishakadatta also wrote mudra rakshasa that also we know now we are seeing another book he also wrote devi chandragupta that is why we have shuffled we do uh, we did not write both one after the other we will easily forget now you read here go back and connect it and try to revise this is how it's easy to remember next is navaneetakam it was a book written on medicine during the gupta period okay this word nava or nine all this thing this nava nine was mostly used during gupta period this can be used as a clue here to remember it
Sangona Agreement was written in 1750. It was written between Shahu and his Peshwa. So we know Shahu was the king and uh, by the time Shahu was ruling, the real power was with the Peshwas. So Sangola Agreement was written by between Shahu and his Peshwa. Next is Risala. It is a collection of poems written by Latif. Pagodas were gold coins by Dutch people. John Shore, he is called as the father of the policy of non-interference. He does not get out and get into other people's issues. He does not go and conquer. He uh, followed the policy of non-interference. So, I use a clue to remember this. John Shore will always stand in the shore. He will not get into the ocean and he will not get into trouble. He will just stay within his boundaries in the shore itself. That is how I uh, use a clue to remember this. Next, Deshar Katha. It was written by Shankaram Ganesh Dushkar. Robert Martin Bird, he is called as the father of land settlement. Be careful here. When you get a word like father of land settlement and there is an option for uh, Lord Cornwallis, we will definitely put that. Okay, but it is actually Robert Martin Bird. Next is Calcutta Madarasa was built in 1781 by Hastings. Next, Asiatic Society of Bengal was built in 1784 by William Jones. We already saw this, it is repeating once again. And next, 1791, Banaras Sanskrit College was built by Jonathan Duncan, 8191. John Loke, he is called as the father of liberalism. Hindu College of Calcutta was built in 1817 by Rajaram Mohan Roy and David Hare. Pagalpantis. They were semi-religious sects. He, it was founded by Karam Shah of Bengal. They were also uh, fighting against the British rule. We finish 100 facts. Next. Revolt and their leaders, important leaders. Sanyasi revolt or Fakir revolt. This was led by Musa Shah, Majnu Shah, Chirang Ali Shah, Bhavan's Patak and Devi Chaudhrans. One name out of, uh, odd, odd one out is Devi Chaudhrans. Rangpur and Dinajpur Rebellion. Dinajpur Rebellion by Dirji Narin. Dinajpur by Dirji Narin. Ahom Revolt by Gandhar Konwar. Kasi Revolt was led by Tirath Singh. Farazi revolt was led by Dudu Mian. This was already asked in exam, which means all these points are actually important. We have to know. Vanis were money lenders. Kunbis were cultivator class. Even now they are in the Maharashtra region. Even Chhatrapati Shivaji is said to belong to this Kunbis class. Next, Tatva Bodhini Sabha. It was founded in 1739 by Debendranath Tagore. Yatraji, Tatraji. These were taught by Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. That is Yantra and Tantra. That is Yatraji and Tatraji were found by, taught by Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Next is Viswabharati. It is a school founded by Rabindranath Tagore. It was there in this year's news as well. New English School was founded in Pune. It was founded by Chiplunkar and Tilak. Widows Home in Pune and Indian Women's University in Bombay. They were found in 1916 by Professor D. K. Carvey. So, Widows Home, Women's University, both in Bombay region, found by Carvey. And some journals and their founders. Rast Goftar by Dada Bhai Naroji. Som Prakash by Dwaraknath Vidya Bhushan. National Paper by Debendranath Tagur. Banga Darshana by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. The Tribune by Dayal Singh Majitya. For this, I use a clue. The word Tribune means giving. 
to someone giving something to someone is called as tribune and see the word dayal it's a hindi word it's a tamil word it's uh, this is a, in most indian languages this word dayal is used where you have a very big heart to give things to people you are ready to give things for people you have open a big heart that is called as dayal dayal heart okay so tribune means dayal it's you have, you can remember it this way you will not forget it next voice of india by dada bai naroji he was the one who opened institutions in britain to make people of britain understand the situation of people in india similarly he also wrote a book for that same purpose that is voice of india indian people's situations should be known by the people of england so this was part of uh, national movement next abhinav bharat was written by veer sarvarkar even a movie is going to come about veer sarvarkar try to connect it and remember it gadar party was founded by lala hardayal and kashi ram debar commission it is associated with pvtgs that is particularly vulnerable tribal groups first buddhist council happened in rajgriha in the satopani caves second buddhist council happened in vaishali third in pataliputra fourth in kundalwana in kashmir you also try to go further and read about who organized it who patronized it these uh, who were the leaders of each, each buddhist council try to make those note also and add it here and wooden kuttam it was higher officer during the chola period variam means committee during chola period even now in tamil variam means committee alangunadar means executive committee in the chola period valanjir means merchant guild nattam means residential part of a village anjuvanam means foreign merchant organization kumanangeri is artisans quarters the word cheri means a place or a place of residence kumanangeri artisans quarters panangeri is outcasts hamlet it is panancheri is outcast hamlet panancheri or paracheri anything next one sarvarishti it is a forced tax during gupta period uparnik is tax from the border areas all these are gupta period sartavaha they represent trading communities see i used to remember this word easily that is sarthi or sarta means one who drives a chariot vaha is vahan uh, caravan so this is trading communities move in caravans so i use i remember it this pictorially you also try and remember this pradama kulika they are crafting communities we already saw a word called kulika remember that is architect kulika means architect see here pradama kulika is the entire craft uh, architect or crafting community so both are same next pushtapala they were junior record officers during gupta period halivkar or halidanda they were tax on plowing plowing taxes halivkar or halidanda next khag bagkar we know the word bag is always related to some tax so here it is a tax which is a combination of bog and boga so bog is the king's share of the tax and boga is the tribute to the king so combining these both it was called as kag boga sita dyaksha they were superintendent of agriculture during the mauryan period we know the word sita means agricultural land that is why in the ramayana also uh, rama's wife is called as sita because she was found in the agricultural land the word sita always belongs to agriculture next is akara dyaka they were superintendent of mining in the same mauryan period so akara dyaka is mining sita dyaksha is uh, agriculture next is navadyaksha that is port nava 
na the word nava navy it's about the ports it's easy to remember next is panya dyaksha it is commerce panya is the same word pana pana panam all these are related to money trade commerce all these things okay and next is sams dyaksha that is superintendent of market and another clue here is whenever you see a word daksha daksha always is related to mauryan period mostly similarly whenever you see a word maha it will be mostly related to gupta period so uh, when you don't remember the answer or such situations if you see daksha you can uh, guess it it should be maurya if you see maha it should be mostly gupta next is maha bala adikrita that is commander in chief during the gupta period maha danda nayaka chief justice danda uh, dandana dandanai all these are giving punishment right so chief justice easy to remember maha pratihar they were maintenance of royal palace next maha sandhi vigrahika or sandhi vigrahika whatever they were ministers of war and peace sandhi vigrahika next dand pashika head of police department see here dand dandana justice dand police all these the, the punishment department next bandagara dikrita head of royal treasure vinay stit stapak it was the education department all these are in the gupta period vinay stit stapak it is in the education department sarva dyaksha this is inspector of central department next maha mahi palapati commander of elephants next the char adhyaya it was a book written by rabindranath tagore char adhyaya was a book written by rabindranath tagore and note here we said daksha will be mostly mauryan there is an exception here we can see here sarva daksha it is inspector of central department in the gupta period this is gupta so rarely some exception even in maha we can see some exceptions will come okay and next one meer yam kacheri it is marine department in the mughals meer meera kacheri it is military department of the mughals these two things i never forget because i remember them pictorially how i remember is we know what is yam right a vegetable i imagine like i threw a vegetable into the uh, ocean and it is floating in the ocean i all i, it, I have it pictorially in my uh, um, brain and meer meera we know who's meera she'll be having a veena in her hand hereafter imagine she is having a huge gun in her hand okay so meer meera will be military department hereafter okay so this these such comedy pictorial things which you keep it in your mind you will never forget them next yadadri temple it is the only temple in india built with krishna shila which is a black stone this was built in telangana in 2016 it was there in the current affairs so yadadri temple remember it is built using black stone next shalabanchika sculpture it was built during 9th or 10th century in the pratihara period shalabanchika sculpture is during the pratihara period bharatanatyam is also called as sadir atam siri fort was built by alauddin kilji damen e kho was the land of the santals in the rajmahal region in the jharkhand region uh, which was given for the santal people during the british period in the 1800s okay. next is korai was a land tax during sangam age next nrd uh, were the senapatis in the sangam period that is the uh, military commanders next duttar were messenger it's given as duttar the actual word should be like this tudar this is the real meaning word but in the books it is given duttar i have taken the word given in the books because uh, in the 2023 prelims there was a word uh, it was written vatta kirutal it is actually vada kirutal which means vadak means north 
uh, face the north and give up your life it was followed by jainism some uh, it was followed also by some sangam kings uh, in the south region but in the book it is given vattakirutal so but similarly here thudar is given as dutter so when we see the book we may, in the exam uh, the, this word we, it might be, uh, be confused but it's actually simply the messenger in the sangam period next some facts about vijayanagara empire mandalam means provinces nadu district stala sub district sist was the land tax and dadan means advance tax okay so this things like mandalam nadu stala these things were many times asked in upsc try to remember them next is some facts about the vedic period jeevagriba or ugra they were police officers spasa means spy so don't forget spasa spy it looks very similar mahishi were chief queen bagaduga tax collector baga the word is tax we know that very well tax collector next mazumdar were auditors in the marathas period jamdar were treasurers putnis were cash keeper Maz- mazumdar auditor jamdar treasurer putnis cash keeper some facts in the guptas niksha or pala were gold coins rupaksha or satmana or pana were silver coin see this word pana is coming many times in the book it is called panna but actually it is pana means money that's it next kakini or kasharpan were copper coins kakini copper khil means unfertile land all these were the terms used during the gupta period next saranjani saranjani were jagirdari system of the marathas we have jagirdari system mansabdari system iktadar system all these are similar used during different periods the uh, the system during the marathas were called as saranjani kupya daksha were forest department during the maurya see daksha maurya mostly it will be like that next karkani were commissionaries during the marathas next chitnis were correspondence clerk during marathas we already saw a word similar word chitnis what is it potnis remember here potnis cash keeper chitnis correspondence clerk clerk cash keeper all are similar work if when you get into a bank you can see a clerk you can see a cash keeper similarly they were in the marathas period called as chitnis potnis okay next samant or dabir they were the dealing with outsiders officers dealing with outsiders were called as samant or dabir and musical instrument and used in which state coming in art and culture pung is used in manipur ravan hatta is used in rajasthan sindhi sarangi rajasthan kanika rajasthan try to take the images of these instruments and have a look at it so that you won't forget it easily phankida it is a form of music sung by peasants of rajasthan okay some facts about satavahanas ahara were districts we already saw a similar word akara which was forest there in the vedic period akara was forest in the satavahanas period ahara is district next amatya were rulers of each ahara gandika were traders of perfume next kataka or skandavaras were military camps during satavahanas next nigrata were free from all bonds in jainism the word nigrata means free from all bonds in jainism kaivalya is the highest spiritual knowledge one who attains highest spiritual knowledge was called as kaivalya in jainism next is hazar majlis highest court in the marathas silhadars were casual soldiers during marathas daftar were chief officer of records department during marathas wakya navis this is news reporter in the 
Mughals period. Vakya Navis, Mughals period. Sipa Salar, head executive, head executive of Mughals. Sadar, judicial department of Mughals. We have already seen this, this word Sadar. Divan e Insha were custodian of government papers during Mughal period. Divan e Kuza were justice department. We already see Kazi, uh, Kuza, all these words were related to justice department. Divan e Barid was intelligence department during the Mughals. Divan e Saman was Department of Royal Household. This one word I never forget. I learned this years before, but I never forget because the word saman means things. Uh, when we go to shop to buy things, they uh, tell uh, buy saman, which means buy things, household things, vegetables, all these uh, spices, these things, our bits, vessels, everything together it is called saman. So it is the household things. That is how I remember royal household saman. It's easy to remember. Okay. Kalipata. Upkilta, these both are sales tax or purchase tax during the Guptas. Udaka Bag was the water tax during Guptas. Taradaya was tax on navigation. The word Karpu means marriage with permission during the Vedic period. Kalabu means marriage without permission during the Vedic period. Karpu, Kalabu. These both Karpu is marriage with permission, Kalabu is marriage without permission. Mushrif e Mamalik. It is accountant general during Sultanate period. This word Mamalik, we are again and again seeing this. It is mostly coming during the Sultanate period. Kazi e Mamalik, we already saw this. Justice. Kazi. So this Kazi. Here we saw. Kuza, see here, all these words are similar words related to justice. Naib Wazir, Deputy Minister. Amir e Dad was Public Prosecutor. Huldivas, it is marking of the beginning of Santal Rebellion. It is celebrated even today in Jharkhand. Huldivas is a festival where the Santal Rebellion started. Maharam was the Supreme Court during Sangam age. Yupas were sacrificial pillar during the Sangam age. Maharam, court, Yupa, sacrificial pillar both during the Sangam age. Raju was the tax for measurement of land during the Guptas. This word Raju, Raja, Maharaja, Maharajati Raja, all these words were introduced and used during the Gupta period. Take it as a flow. Prashasti was the prison head during Mauryan period. See this word Prashasti. There is a similar word Prahasti. It was uh, used during the Sangam period or the Chola period in South India, which means songs sung in praise of kings were called as Prashasti or Prahasti. Here, Prashasti means prison head in the Mauryan period. Britakas were hired troops. So, you give money, you get army. Have you seen this golden cloak and all in this uh, Game of Thrones? Yeah, such, th such type of troops are called as Britakas. Next is Sartavaha. They were trading communities. We already saw this. Okay. Sarta, Sarti, Vaha is Vahana. We are repeating it here. Pratama Kulika. Crafting. Kulika means uh, architect. Pratama, we already saw this. We are repeating it here. Pushtapala, junior record officer. Pout Vadyaksha, superintendent of weights and measures. Again, we are seeing a Daksha here, but it is used in the Gupta period. Next one, Lakshana Daksha, we are superintendent of mint. Mint is where um, coin or uh, notes are printed. That is Lakshana Dyaksha. Mati Kavatelu or Vaishyas. They were merchants in the Vijayanagara period. Next, Nalavajati Varu or Sudras. They were also merchants in the Vijayanagara period. Next one, Shahna E. Pil. They were superintendent of royal elephants during the 
Sultanate period. Namda art, it is uh, art where mattresses are made in the Jammu Kashmir. So, this is important. Namda art is important. Next one, Yukta Pursha. They were officers of accounts during the Gupta period. They were uh, officers of accounts on war booty actually. Okay. We already saw one more thing, Gutta Purushas. Remember that uh, spy system. Here, Gaddiya Pakika. They were inspectors of royal kitchen and Ranbada Garika. Ranbada Garika, they were officers in charge of arms and ammunition stores. Next, Mahapati, commander of infantry. Kanchuki, head of the Queen's Haram. And another arc, Dokra arc, is in Chhattisgarh. Bidri art, they make flower vases. They are, it is in Telangana. Salimgarh fort, already we saw Siri fort. Now we are seeing here Salimgarh fort. Both are in Delhi. In the banks of Yamuna river. Was built in 1546 by Salim Shah Suri, son of Sher Shah Suri. Loinagani festival. This is uh, celebrated by the Naga tribes. Vanavan folk music. It is in Jammu Kashmir. Sun Temple in Modera was built by Bhim Dev too. It is there in the news for the past two years. You have to know this. Next, Samakka Saralana uh, festival. It is celebrated by the Koya tribes in Telangana. We already saw this. Fawazil, excess amount paid to the exchequer by the Iktadars. Apart from the amount which has to be paid, more amount is paid, then it is called Fawazil. Iktadar, we know it was during the Sultanate period. Aragata, device to lift water, it was used during the Sultanate period. Such questions are very fond, uh, this UPC is very fond of such questions. Aragata is uh, it's a device used for lifting water. And this Aragata, it is very similar to a Persian wheel. Persian wheel was already asked in UPC earlier. Next, Golconda fort was built by Puli Kudubsha. Gold Gumbas was built by Muhammad Ali Shah. Banis. Banis were hymns and poems written by Dadu. Sudadvaita was a philosophy by Vallabha. We already know Vashishta Advaita, Advaita, all these things. Vashishta Advaita is a philosophy of Ramanuja, we know. Similarly, Sudadvaita is a philosophy of Vallabha. Next, Sri Bhashya was written by Ramanuja. Pulain were rope makers in the Sangam age. Tankurams were autonomous administration for towns and townships during Chola period. Tankurams, Chola period. Sir E. Naubath. They were Senapatis during the Maratha period. See, this word we will definitely think it is uh, Sultanate. See, we see many words which are uh, Maratha empire related but look like Sultanate. That is because most of the administrative system which the Sultanate followed, it was just directly taken by the Maratha. They just followed it, continued it. That's why most of the names are similar like that. Nicola Conti was an Italian traveler. He visited India during the Vijayanagara kingdom during Devaraya to rule important. Next, Andhra Kavita Pitama. Allasani Pedana. Allasani Pedana is called as Andhra Kavita Pitama. Next, Vittala Swami temple is in Hampi. It was built by Devaraya to Vijayanagara ruler. Vittala Swami temple. Next, Kalahasti Shadakam. It is a book written by Durjati. It was written during the Vijayanagara period. Next, Malikana was the land revenue system during the Mughals. Gada Saptasati Satasal was written by Hala. He was a Satavahana king. Gata Saptasati Satasal. Next, Deenpana was built by Humayun in Delhi. Bengal Gazette was written by James Augustus Hickey. Tazib ul Aklak was written by Sir Syed Ahmad Khan. Hitechu was written by Gopal Hari Deshmukh. Hiteshu Hari. Hindu Patriot was written by Girish Chandra Ghosh. Navyug 
and Langal were written by Musafar Ahmad, Mook Nayak and Bahit Krish Bharat was written by B. R. Ambedkar, Independent book was written by Motilal Nehru, Free Hindustan was written by Taraknath Das, Al Bala and Al Hilal were written by Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad. Comrade was written by Maulana Muhammad Ali. Hindustan Dainik and The Leader. These two books were written by Madan Mohan Malviya. Indian Socialist was written by Sham Krishna Verma. Yugantar was written by Barindra Kumar Ghosh. Sanjeevani was written by Krishna Kumar Mitra. I remember this using a clue. We know what is Sanjeevani. It is a plant which was uh, found in a mountain and what it was lifted by Lord Hanuman. And who is Hanuman? He is friend of Ram. Ram and Krishna are no big different. They are all same. So, Mitra of Ram, Hanuman, brought Sanjeevani. So, this is how I remember it. If this clue works, you can use it. Bharat Shram Jeevi. It was written by Sasipada Banerjee. Deen Bandhu written by L. M. Lokande, Indian Spectator written by B. M. Malabari, Paramabhatraka, it is the title taken by Gupta Kings, Paridarshak was written by Bipin Chandrapal, Sandhya was written by Brahmo Bandhap Upadhyay, Dawn was written by Muhammad Ali Jinnah, because he was talking about uh, the dawn, the starting of a new country, okay, dawn. Forward Liberty was written by C. R. Das. I used a clue to remember this because we know C. R. Das, uh, after the non cooperation movement was over, they were planning what to do next. Uh, Gandhi said, We will just continue, we will just be uh, calm and continue the uh, work here. We do not want to start any next movement or we do not want to get into the legislative assembly. But C. R. Das and Motilal Nehru, uh, we, they started Swaraj party and they said we should go forward. We should get into the legislative assembly and uh, fight for the rights in the legislative assembly, trouble the British lawmakers. Okay. So, C. R. Das wanted to go forward. So, I remember that C. R. Das's story here and uh, connected with the book Forward Liberty. Labour Kisan and Gesset were written by M. Singara Velu. Next, Malikana is land revenue by Mughals. We are seeing it for the second time. Yuktas were subordinate revenue officers during Maurya. Sudharak was written by Gopalakrishna Gokale. Indian Mirror was written by N. N. Sen. Sir E. Karkun or Pranthpati. These were the head of provinces during the Marathas. Amir E. Bhar was office in charge of police and transport naval ports. This was during the Delhi Sultanate. This was uh, name is Amir E. Bahar. Next is Garo Dakmanda. This has got GI tag. It is a dress uh, created by the Garo tribes in Meghalaya. Garo Dakmanda is a fabric. Next is Iltumish introduced the purely Arabic coins. Iltumish introduced Iktadar system. Iltumish introduced the Chahal Ghani, that is that 40 nobles, Turkish nobles, and they were the ones who later killed his own daughter. I mean, uh, Iltumish's daughter, Rabia, we know that. Yeah. Bardo Cham, it is the folk dance of Arunachal Pradesh. Bogurmba, it is the uh, folk dance of Assam. Vikrama Urvashi is written by Kalidasa. That's it guys. Thank you. We have uh, tried to take as little points as possible to reduce the time and we have chosen the facts such that which are uh, easily forgettable and uh, I told you already how to use this. Uh, try to keep uh, play this while you are working or when you are getting to sleep or something. Let it keep getting into your head these facts and uh, one important thing about these facts is uh, these are repeating every year. These are uh, facts that's it they are they are not current affairs or anything 
they are the same you learn it this year you will even use it for the next year you will use it for various other exams everywhere these things will be coming again and again if you are able to learn or memorize at least few uh, certain facts in this it is going to help you in various other exams as well okay and uh, try to take notes as you are uh, viewing this video if not uh, just download this uh, pdf and repeat it uh, many times and keep it with you and uh, repeat it for the revise it for the last minute when you go for every other exam okay thank you jai hind